And I should just briefly apologize for the nature and the quality of the satellite picture. I promise you it has nothing to do with us, our equipment. It's all to do with the weather up there, which is getting darker and more menacing by the minute. As with so many natural disasters, this added stories of terrible coincidences, very lucky escapes and miracle rescues. Our international editor, Lindsay Hilson, reports now on some human stories to emerge from the wreckage around me. They climbed out of the basement where they'd been sheltering all night and saw this. Jay, if it's still windy, I want you to stay. Okay. We don't know who Jake, the man who was filming, is. Just at his family home and the entire suburban neighborhood where they live are in ruins. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. We saw the house because you're looking through the cellar door and you just see the house being ripped and shredded and carried off. The 200 mile per hour wind swept Ricky Stover's house away. And it started shaking and it ripped and ripped open. It nearly swept him away too. We thought we died because we're inside the cellar door. We locked the cellar door once we saw it coming. It got louder and next thing you know uh, is you see the lights coming undone and we couldn't reach for it and it ripped open the door and it, it just glass and debris started slamming on us and we thought something we thought we were dead to be honest he's not the only one who can't believe he's still alive when they started flying this i just opened a stall and that's about the last you know it's, i got covered up with some debris and then pushed pushed me down the shed road that's, i was pretty lucky i suppose nor understand why they were spared and others weren't. I couldn't just, just hit my house and make this place alone. The tornado destroyed the local hospital. It lifted cars from the car park and smashed them into the hospital walls. An insurance company, a bank, a bowling alley all reduced to ruins. Um, are no doubt watching us right now. Is this Even the weatherman, live on air, had to flee to safety. JD, in 20 years, I've never said this, yeah. but I think it's our time uh, to go. Dave, um, I, I really do. We've been monitoring the conditions here downtown. So at this point, folks, those we here at KSN are moving to our shelters. We are moving to our shelters. People picked through the rubble, trying to salvage some of their belongings. Sometimes it was hard to believe who or what had survived. They've lost so much, but there's still talk of the oaky spirit. But I'm gonna be okay. We're gonna get back. We are. We're, we're definitely oakies, and that's what we're known for. Just we come back, arms are swinging. I was holding my dog. I was sitting on the stool holding my dog. And amongst the destruction, the occasional note of hope. Barbara Garcia was telling a local reporter how she'd lost her dog when suddenly... This is life in the big city. The dog. The dog. The dog. Hi, puppy. The dog. Oh. Oh, Bessie. Oh, Bessie. Bless your little bitty heart. Help me. Oh, Megan. Oh, 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 come on, get him. Oh, oh, oh. A small miracle of survival in amongst the debris of lives and livelihoods lost to the storm.